number nine is Dr. Barry Hill, uh, presenting in Grouping Two, Humanities, Arts, Social Sciences, from Southern Cross University, with the title, The Sunflower Solar Powered Audio Project, Engaging the Creative Arts in Building Community Knowledge of New Ideas and Emerging Technology Capabilities. When you're ready, Barry. The subject of my research pitch will be the development of the SCU Solar Sunflower Project, one that combines music festivals, interactive multimedia art, solar technology and industry partnerships to engage the community with the issues of energy or with the issues surrounding energy sustainability. My Twitter feed is Dr Baz H and you can follow that feed for more information about this project. Okay, this project's in three phases. Phase one, completed in 2013, established a student-led creative design project with the aim of building a solar-powered generator custom designed for use at music, arts, festivals and events. Nicknamed the, solar, nicknamed the Sunflower, the solar generator features a folding flower-shaped array of solar panels and a lightweight lithium battery pack mounted in a car trailer frame that can be towed by a medium-sized car, i.e. Subaru Forester. It was successfully launched at the 2013 Byron Bay Blues Fest and powered all audio, visual and music equipment on a music stage for six days without a hitch. While the Sunflower project is the first prototype mobile solar generator of its kind in Australia, the technology involved is nothing new. We've just combined it in an unconventional and a creative way. It's basically the mobile version of what over 1.8 million households in Australia have on their roof but it does not provide power to the network, so it's in effect an off-grid portable generator. So question, why are musicians and creative artists involved in a prototype solar engineering project? I offer two reasons. Firstly, current digital audio visual technology is incredibly lightweight and incredibly energy efficient. It's over 95% efficient. Using digital technology, your average music venue or festival stage consumes less power per minute than a toaster or a hairdryer. While we all use solar energy technology to provide energy for some, or provide for some of our energy needs, we don't really understand how much energy we actually consume. And so this project demonstrates the electricity needs of music festivals can now be physically provided by silent and zero maintenance mobile solar generators. Secondly, I'll just provide the anecdote provided by Professor Jill Khalil on the BBC's Fantastic History of Electricity program, who notes that the derivation of the word electrician actually comes from the word magician. So it was actually the creative artists of the 18th and 19th century who showed people the potential of this new thing called electricity. So phase two and phase three of this project relate strongly to this theme and has become seeing the sunflower move from a piece of functional art to more of a multimedia installation. In 2013, the sunflower project connected with the Australian social enterprise Pollinate Energy, who had just commissioned Sydney sculptors Amigo and Amigo and data designers <coughs> S1T2 and Wild One to build Ray, the first solar-powered interactive light sculpture for the 2014 Vivid Light and Music Festival in Sydney. The creative theme of Ray celebrates Pollinate Energy's work in India, developing cheap, accessible solar lighting solutions for disadvantaged communities living on the fringes and slubs of India's urban centres. SCU audio composer Dr Matt Hill, my brother, and myself designed the interactive surround sound design for the Ray installation using computer audio technology. By pulling on the cords hung from three interactive stations around the sculpture, Festival goers triggered sci-fi inspired sounds and LED light animation sequences coming through these LED light tubes here. Using the digital data feeds from the solar generator and the interactive stations, we created hashtag HiRay, an online emotional identity for the sculpture. If the sun was out and the audience was interacting, Ray was happy. The HiRay website logged solar power usage and, and displayed this data as a comparison between the power usage of Australian households and Indian households. Okay, you've got the sound in the background. The project created interactive art. In a big brother-like fashion, this is a 
a, a snapshot from their website, IBM logged 350,000 visitors to the Ray installation at um, Vivid. It was the number one installation at Vivid this year in terms of how many visitors we got. This other number here comes from our website where we managed to generate 45,000 watts of electricity over the length of the festival. That's the equivalent to 2,360 households in India, or the power usage of 2,360 households in India, or three households in Australia. And that's the big message we wanted to get across. So in summary, this project focuses on the interactions or what happens when you combine artists and scientists working together on the same project. It showcases the potential of alternative energy and the disparity that exists between energy users across the world and the responsibility that we have as a community to engage with these questions. Thanks.